Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I cannot wait to share my recipes with you guys this week. They turned out so good. Every week I get so excited to indulge in my delicious WW friendly meals throughout the next upcoming week. So I have quite a few recipes to share with you. A breakfast, a lunch, actually two lunch, and a WW friendly delicious dessert recipe. So if you wanna see what I have in store for this week's meal prep, all you have to do is stay tuned. The first thing I need to get started for meal prep is I wanna get my chicken tenders marinating so that they are nice and flavorful, and then we will pop them into our air fryer. So I have two packets of chicken tenders. I'm gonna be using this brown sugar bourbon marinade mix. So to make the marinade, I need the mix, water, We'll also need some olive oil and some apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna get the chicken marinating into the fridge and then we'll get started on our breakfast. So I've got my tenders in my Ziploc bag. I did go ahead and cut out the tender loin part. I don't like that with that weird white thing. So I went ahead and cut that out of all of the pieces of chicken. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add in my brown sugar bourbon marinade mix. And I do count one point for the marinade because of the olive oil. That is all that I count, only because you always have quite a bit of marinade left in your bag, but I do like to count one point. So I am gonna go ahead and add in a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and I'm also adding in one quarter cup of water. So we'll get everything put into our bag, and then we're just gonna kind of massage our chicken, get that marinade nice and mixed in. Check out my Christmas bags, they're left over from Christmas. So we're gonna get that nice and massaged in, and then I'm gonna pop this into the refrigerator while we finish up our meal prep. We'll pull it out right before we prep for lunch. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making copycat cheddar bacon Starbucks egg bites. I'm gonna pair that with some sausage and some fruit. So this is going to be a pretty darn low carb breakfast full of protein. So first let me show you what's in the egg bites. So of course you're going to need some eggs, salt and pepper, fat-free half and half, basil, bacon, I'm just gonna use bacon bits to make it easy, and some light shredded cheese. I'm going to pair that with some blueberries and Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links. So let's get started first on our egg bites. So the first thing we need to do to get started on our egg bites is I'm gonna crack nine eggs into a bowl and then we're literally adding all the rest of our ingredients in, whisking it up and we have our egg bites ready to go. So let's get our eggs cracked and ready to add the rest of our ingredients. Once you get your eggs cracked in your bowl, go ahead and just give them an initial good whisk and then we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients. I love these egg bites, they keep you full. They are so good. They come out of the Instant Pot so delicious and so low point, which is a great way to have a really, really good high protein breakfast. So whisk your eggs together. What I have here is half of a cup of bacon bits. The recipe actually calls for a full cup. I thought I had more than I did. I'm okay with that. I'm pairing it with sausage, so that's gonna be plenty for me. I'm also adding in one half of a cup of fat-free half and half. Also, one half of a cup of the Trader Joe's light shredded cheese. And then we are going to add in our seasoning. So we have some pepper and go ahead and add it to your liking as much or as little as you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in some salt. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add in some basil. And then we're going to give this another quick whisk together and we'll get ready to put these into our egg molds and get them into our Instant Pot. 
Once you get your egg mixture all combined, we're gonna go ahead and spray our silicone mold with just a little bit of cooking spray. I'm gonna use this scoop. This is the easiest way for me to scoop the egg mixture into the mold. I do have these scoops on in my Amazon store down in the description box below. It is a set of three of them for I think about 10 bucks. So three different sizes, I use them all the time. So I'm just going to scoop and your bacon is kind of going to fall to the bottom so make sure you kind of get down to the bottom and I'm just going to add that to my silicone mold and you can do as much or as little of the egg mixture you don't want to fill your mold too full because they do expand when cooking so keep that in mind as well so I'd like to have two of my little egg cups each day so I at least want to get 10 out of my recipe so I can have two each day, five days a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up and then I'm gonna go ahead and also grab my second mold because it looks like I'm gonna have enough of my egg deliciousness to go ahead and fill two molds. I was able to get 12 egg bites out of my mix. So next step is we're gonna go ahead and wrap these loosely in foil and we'll get them put into our Instant Pot. I'll show you exactly how to stack them and temperature to cook them and we'll get these settled in and cooking away. So to get our egg bites cooked, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one cup of water to our Instant Pot. And then you also need to add in your trivet because you need to make sure your egg bites are off of the base of your Instant Pot. And then we're ready to go ahead and we're gonna add in our egg bites. So we're just gently going to put these on top of the trivet. They are loosely wrapped in foil and you can simply stack them on top of each other. So we'll go ahead and stack them up and then we're ready to pop on our lid and get them going. All right, we've got our molds in our Instant Pot. We're gonna go ahead and go down here to manual and we're gonna set this for 14 minutes and our egg bites should come out perfectly cooked. So I'll be back to show you the completed product. Once your 14 minutes is up, we are going to naturally release for five minutes. So this dial will read five. Whatever pressure is left, we'll go ahead and turn it up here to venting and we'll remove whatever the remaining pressure is. So I'll be back to show you our finished egg bites. So I just pulled the egg bites out of my Instant Pot. They don't look the prettiest, but they smell so good. So I'm gonna let these cool for just a moment and then I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my meal preps for the week and show you exactly what I'm having. So here are my completed breakfast preps for the week. These bites smell so good. It smells like a bacon burger. Super excited. So what I have here is one serving of blueberries. I have three of the Jimmy Dean turkey sausage links and two of my cheddar bacon egg bites. So my blueberries are zero. My sausage links are one smart, smart point per link. So that is three. And then my cheddar bacon egg bites turned out to be only one smart point a piece. So this is two smart points, three for the sausage. So this is a five smart point breakfast. And look at how delicious filling loaded with protein with a little bit of blueberries thrown in. So this, my friends, is my five smart point breakfast. As part of my lunches this week, along with my chicken, I'm going to be making a Hawaiian pasta salad. I am in the mood for some summery type of recipe, so this Hawaiian pasta salad sounds delicious. So let me show you what is in our salad. For the actual salad, you're going to need some pasta. I am using the Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. I love this pasta. It is half the calories, half the points of regular pasta. Two ounces is only three points. I buy this on net nutrition.com. I will go ahead and have that linked down below for you. You can also find this in my Amazon store, which is in my description box. You're going to need some pineapple chunks or pineapple tidbits, whatever you prefer, some diced ham, a red pepper, and some green onions. And for the sauce, we are going to be needing apple cider vinegar, black pepper, light mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, reduced fat sour cream, 
Honey, this also is off of nutrition.com. This is sugar-free honey. It is way less points. And then also some garlic powder. So let's get started on our Hawaiian pasta salad. The first thing we need to do for our pasta salad is get our water to a boil so we can go ahead and cook down our pasta. And then we're gonna put together the dressing. So to make our dressing, we're gonna combine everything in a small bowl. So first I have a half of a cup of light mayo. So that's going to be the base of our dressing for our pasta salad. To that, we're also going to add a quarter of a cup of light sour cream. You could substitute non-fat Greek yogurt, but this pasta salad is pretty darn low points, and I thought that that little extra taste of the sour cream would definitely be a nice addition. We're also going to be adding one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, so I'm just gonna kind of wing that. And then we're also going to add one third cup of pineapple juice. So what I did is I just drained this from my actual pineapple chunks and set that aside. So one third cup of the pineapple juice. Also, you're gonna grab out a teaspoon because we're gonna need one teaspoon of our apple cider vinegar. And we're also going to need one teaspoon of honey. And again, I am using the sugar-free, but you can go ahead and use whatever honey you have available. And then we are also going to add in some garlic powder. And last but not least, some delicious pepper. So go ahead and add all of that in. And then we're gonna give our dressing a good stir. And then go ahead and set that aside until our pasta is done. We're ready to put together our pasta salad. I went ahead and drained and rinsed my eight ounces of my fiber gourmet pasta. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my pineapple. I should have bought pineapple tidbits. I would recommend that versus pineapple chunks. So I went ahead and just cut mine in half. They were just really, really big. And actually, once I looked back on the recipe, it actually does call for pineapple tidbit. So that's what I would recommend, but I just sliced mine in half, but save yourself the step. And then I've got a little bit smaller sized pieces of pineapple. I'm also going to add my entire bag of diced ham. I did calculate the entire bag, which is eight ounces into my points. The recipe calls for two cups. I don't know if this is close to two cups, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the whole bag to make the point value measuring a lot easier. So I'm just kind of mixing as I go here, just incorporating everything. I'm next going to be adding in my one diced up red pepper, and I went ahead and diced up two green onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of that. This cutting board, you guys, I really like. This is from Weight Watchers. I actually got this when I joined, so I love this cutting board. So I went ahead and added in those veggies. Again, going to give it a stir. You guys, this is gonna be so good. The sweetness of the pineapple with that little bit of spiciness from the green onion and then that sweet spicy of the red pepper really excited for this and then of course I grabbed out our dressing that we made so I'm going to go ahead and add all of that and then we are going to give this a stir and I'm going to divide this out into eight equal servings that is what I figured my points on so I'll end up doing it probably by like half of a cup measurements. I'll show you that as I put together my meal prep, but look at how delicious this looks, you guys. Macaroni salad with ham and pineapple, Hawaiian style, for the start of summer on WW. This looks and smells absolutely delicious. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken cooked in the air fryer. Look at how good this chicken looks, you guys, yummy. And then I went ahead and greased my air fryer pan. So what I'm going to do is just take my chicken tenders and I'm just going to put them onto my air fryer sheet. Now, if you have the basket air fryer, you can just go ahead and pop them in to the basket, but look at how delicious those look. And then we'll get this into the air fryer. So I've got my chicken tenders in my air fryer. These smell amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cook mine here at 375 for about 15 minutes. I will probably midway flip them and I will also midway rotate my shelves so that the bottom rack makes its way to the top. And I'll be back to show you our completed chicken tenders and we'll get our meal prep all ready to go. I just pulled my chicken tenders out of the air fryer. Look at how delicious those look. I'm gonna go ahead and get those in my meal prep along with my 
veggie that I'm going to take, my Hawaiian pasta salad, bag up some fruit, and I'll show you our completed meal prep for lunches and give you the smart points. So here's my completed lunch meal prep. You guys, I'm really excited for lunches this week. This looks so good. So let me show you exactly what I'm having. So I was able to divide those chicken tenders up into each meal prep container. It's about three chicken tenders per meal prep. I am counting that as one point because of the oil that is in the marinade. I did go ahead and throw in some frozen veggies. These are the veggies that I'm using. This is the flavor pack. Riviera blend. It has green beans, wax beans, and carrots. So I went ahead and just divided that bag out amongst five meal prep containers. And then here I have one serving of my Hawaiian pasta salad. It ended up being three quarters of a cup per serving and that left me an additional three servings that I've set aside here for my husband or for later on as a side dish. And then I'm going to pair that with a bag of honeydew melon. So this entire lunch is one for the chicken. Only four points, you guys, using the fiber gourmet pasta for the Hawaiian salad. Again, my link for nutrition is down in the description box, which is where you can buy fiber gourmet. You can also buy this on my Amazon store. So, and then the veggies are zero. The honeydew is zero. So you guys, this entire lunch is five smart points and that is for chicken and pasta and veggies for a sweet treat this week i'm going to be making one smart point yes you heard me one smart point chocolate cupcakes i cannot wait cannot wait cannot wait so let me show you what is in our one smart point cupcakes so first you're going to need the devotion angel food cake protein powder you guys, I am in love with Devotion. It is seriously so amazing. The protein powder has fabulous flavor. None of that chalky, icky protein taste. So, so incredibly good, so good. So I did partner with Devotion. They sent me some products. I am in love with their products. So I've decided to offer a discount code to you guys. You can save 10% off your order at Devotion nutrition.com by using the link down in the description box and entering my code, which is here on the screen. You will not be sorry. Their protein powder is phenomenal, phenomenal. They have the angel food cake, which is their white protein powder. And then they also have brownie batter, which is their chocolate. And you guys, it is seriously hands down the best protein powder out there. So we are going to be using two scoops or two servings of the angel food cake. Look, you guys, 20 grams of protein per scoop. So good. And one smart point. You cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. We're also going to be adding some cocoa powder. You can use Kodiak cake or birch benders. I'm going to go ahead and use the birch benders pancake and waffle mix. Some espresso powder. Espresso just really magnifies that delicious chocolate flavor. So we're going to add in some espresso, some baking powder, some water, some sucrin brown sugar alternative or any brown sugar substitute, eggs, really, really, really ripe bananas, and last but certainly not least, Lily's chocolate chips. So let's get started on our cupcakes. So to put together our one point cupcakes, I've went ahead and first mashed four super duper ripe bananas. We're gonna add all the rest of our ingredients to the bowl. I am doubling the recipe because I wanna make 12 cupcakes. So I'm going to be adding in two servings of the Devotion Nutrition Angel Food Cake Mix Protein Powder. So we'll add in two servings of that. I am gonna kind of stir as I go. So we'll mix that into our bananas a little. It smells so good. I'm telling you, you guys, that Devotion protein powder is literally amazing. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add one packet of my espresso powder, which is equivalent of roughly two teaspoons. I'm also going to be adding in two teaspoons of baking powder one half of a cup of your pancake mix, birch benders or Kodiak, whatever you decide that you wanna use. We're also going to add in two eggs. And I have six tablespoons of the cocoa powder. The original recipe calls for dark cocoa powder, but I went ahead and just used regular. And then we are going to add one half of a cup of water. 
And I also have six tablespoons of my Sucrin brown sugar mix or whatever brown sugar alternative that you want to use. So we're going to give this a nice big stir until it is nice and combined. And then we are going to add in one half of a cup of our Lily's chocolate chips. Once you get your cupcake batter nice and mixed together, this smells so good. I literally am drooling. Legit. I'm going to go ahead and add in my chocolate chips, and we're just going to give that a nice stir just until our chocolate chips are combined. Now, you can cook these either in your air fryer or in your oven. I'm just going to go ahead and cook them in my oven. So I'm going to go ahead and preset it at 350, and then we'll get these into our muffin cups. Look at this. Double chocolate chip cupcakes. Next, we're ready to get our cupcakes into the oven. So I went ahead and lined my cupcake tin with my reusable silicone cupcake liners. I love these. You don't have to grease them. The cupcakes or muffins just pop right out. I do have these linked down in my Amazon store. They're super inexpensive. I want to say 10 bucks or less for a package of 12. And then we've got our batter. And again, I'm going to be using my big scoop that comes in that three scoop pack also linked in my Amazon store. And I'm going to just scoop in our cupcake batter. I want 12 cupcakes total. That is what I figured the one smart point off of. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop in our cupcakes. And then these are gonna go into the oven at 350 until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. There are my 12 cupcakes ready to go into the oven. As you can see, I have quite a bit of batter left. So I'm still gonna count them as one smart point, but I decided to go ahead and grab out my mini muffin tin, spray it with a little nonstick cooking spray, and I think I'm gonna make some little mini cupcakes as well, just as many as I have enough batter for. No designated amount, you can have three of these little mini cupcakes for one smart point. So I figured this way we can keep it at the one point mark and we can even make some fun little mini guys if we wanna add frosting, which by the way, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make frosted cupcakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these little mini ones as mini filled as I have enough batter for and we'll put those into the oven as well. So I was able to get nine mini cupcakes as well. One of these would be zero points. Actually, two of them would be zero. And until you bump up to three, that is one point. So if you want just a quick pop in your mouth treat, this is zero points. Or you can have an entire full-size cupcake for one. So I'm going to get these into the oven at 350. I'll be back to show you the completed cupcakes. I just pulled our cupcakes out of the oven, you guys. Look at these. One smart point. Can you even believe it look you got the chunks of the banana the chocolate chips yum and then here are our little mini guys they're so cute as well but i'm gonna let these cool and then i'll pop these out of the silicone molds and i'm going to show you two ways that you can make a cupcake out of our little chocolate delightfuls here are our completed chocolate cupcakes you guys i tried the mini one these are phenomenal. They have zero aftertaste. That devotion powder with that birch benders, they taste like a legit cupcake that you'd buy at a cupcake store. They are sweet, moist, delicious, yum. So you can eat them just like this for one smart point, or I'm gonna show you two different things that you can do with the cupcakes. One of them will keep them at one point and the other one will make it two points. So let me show you two ways that you can jazz up and decorate up these cupcakes. Look at this. This, my friends, is a frosted double chocolate chip cupcake. It is only one smart point for the frosting. So what I went ahead and used was the Pillsbury sugar-free chocolate fudge frosting. And then I just added just a little bit of sprinkles for zero points. A little less than one tablespoon of this frosting is one smart point. So that is one smart point worth of frosting on top of my cupcake. But look at that. That looks so good. And that is a two smart point cupcake. 
or you can stick with a one smart point cupcake look at this you guys yum so all i put on top of my cupcake was just a little bit of fat free ready whip and that is zero points so you can just jazz it up with some whipped cream and a little bit of sprinkles and remain this as a one smart point cupcake so now you have three ways to eat it by itself with frosting or with fat-free ready whip. So here are the snacks that I'm gonna be taking for the upcoming week. I'll start with showing you my morning snack and then my afternoon snack or snacks depending on how hungry I am. So first I am of course taking a Built Bar. This is always, always my morning snack. I love the Built Bars. These are only three smart points per bar. They taste like a candy bar, not a protein bar. They are delicious. 15 grams of protein and 6 grams of fiber so they definitely keep me full between breakfast and lunch. It is a sweet treat for that mid-morning kind of sweet treat wanton feeling and they are packed with protein and fiber and they literally three points to keep you full until lunch. So I am obsessed with the Built Bars. Salted caramel chocolate, the lemon, and this is the cinnamon chocolate. This is a new flavor. I love it. It tastes like a chocolate covered cinnamon bear. So I'm going to be bringing a Built Bar if you're interested in the Bill Bars, make sure that you use my discount code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. The link to BiltBar.com is down in the description box. Definitely get yourself some Bill Bars. They're so good. You can eat them fresh out of the pantry, in the fridge, or mine are frozen solid. I really like them directly out of the freezer. So love, love, love my Bilt Bars. I'm also going to be bringing a light mozzarella stick that I'm going to pair with one of these beef sticks. Now I got these, you saw these in my grocery haul. I got these at Costco. So I wanted to show you the size. So this is the size me put up against the package here of the meat stick. So it is pretty darn good size. These are grass fed beef sticks. They are only one smart point for the beef stick, one smart point for the light mozzarella cheese. This has five grams of protein, zero sugar. They're really, really good, really good. So I'm going to be having this as a two point snack, one and one. So that's a high protein, satisfying snack. And then also I'm going to be bringing one of my two good yogurts. I've really been enjoying these. They have zero added sugar. The two grams of sugar comes from the milk that is used, three carbs, super good. And then of course, I'm going to top it with a little bit of pro granola. So this week I'm feeling the vanilla cinnamon cluster. Here are your stats on the granola and that is for a half of a cup. These are paleo and keto friendly. So if you're following keto, highly recommend the pro granola. They are low net carbs, gluten-free, grain-free, nothing artificial, soy-free, non-GMO, no preservatives. This particular one also has prebiotics and probiotics. I love this granola so much, you guys. You can have a half of a cup for only two smart points. That's it for granola. You can put it with some almond milk. I like to put about a tablespoon on top of my yogurt. So one tablespoon of granola is zero points. So it gives that crunch factor, gives me that little added extra bit of protein because as you can see, there is 12 grams of protein in a half of a cup and 12 grams of fiber, zero sugar. Gives me that crunch, that little boost of protein on top of my yogurt. So that would be a two smart point snack. They have several flavors of the Pro Granola. This one again is the Vanilla Cinnamon Cluster. I love it. There is vanilla, peanut butter, chocolate, and espresso. So go to julianbakery.com, use the link down in the description box, click the link, enter the code that is also in the box, and that'll save you 10% and give you free shipping. And this is a huge bag of granola. It is almost 20 ounces. So that is a lot of granola for the price. So Julian Bakery granola is a Weight Watchers game changer and a Weight Watcher must have along with the Built Bar. So this, my friends, is my snacks for the upcoming work week. Thank you for joining me on another WW Weekly Meal Prep. I hope you enjoyed all, seeing all of the recipes that I shared with you today. They are all so good, you guys. You cannot go wrong by making any of these recipes for your breakfast, for your lunch, for dinner, for snack, you name it, you cannot go wrong. Also, make sure that you guys check out my tribe merchandise. Everything turned out so cute. A lot of you have been asking me about that. I do have some merch in Teespring in a store. I'll go ahead and link that right here on the screen for you guys. And it is linked down in the description box below. 
Also down in the description box are all of the recipes that I shared with you, all of my discount codes, my Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. We have 3,000 members. That is insane to me. And it is such a positive, happy, warm and inviting place. So if you're looking for some extra WW support, make sure you check out my Facebook group. I'll also put that right here on the screen for you. So check everything out down in the description box. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every single time I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try some of the recipes that I shared with you. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.